We got a little clip of this. Alright, I'm at Jennifer's house. And these are her lovely liquor infused cupcakes, right? Mm hmm. And this is Jennifer. Hello. Say hi to my peoples. Hi, peoples. My little boogers. Hi, little boogers. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is co owner of what's your company's name? Desilu Sweets. And what's the website? DesiluSweets.com. Okay, and tell us a little bit about your company. Okay, it started off with myself and my business partner, Tabitha. Um, well, oh, I messed up. But um, <laughs> one day, I was sleeping. And I woke up, and I was like, oh, I like cupcakes. Well, actually, I was influenced by where we used to work together by these but these other two women used to come in and they used to always bake. So I would always like get, get really, really mesmerized by like, oh my God, y'all really know how to bake and y'all bake really, really well. Mm -hmm. So one day, the one of the ladies told me, she was like, well, why don't you try baking yourself? And I'm like, no, because I'm a person that was like far away from the kitchen and they want nothing to do with it. I eat takeout every single day. Mm -hmm. So she's just like, well, you know, just try it out. So I tried out baking and then it's just like, it was like a hidden talent that I never knew I had. Mm -hmm. So then I just got like so wrapped up and so overwhelmed with it. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then like I used to like text me like, oh my god, look what I made, this and this mm -hmm. and that. So when the ladies left, Tabitha ended up coming to work at the place we used to work at together. the place we used to work at together. And she told me about a story about how you know, she went to school to become a cook and well she was always up to cook and always up to bake mm -hmm. and she went to school for it just to enhance her skills so she had told me the story about how her daughter who would have been 15 this year passed away and her daughter Aww. used to help her bake and help her do all these things so she kept on saying like that was her mini me mm -hmm. so her daughter had passed away about like three years ago and, you know, she was going through, like, a lot, and her daughter always wanted to push her to go back to school. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know, she finally, you know, decided to get herself right back into school. And from that point on, she just been in school because she recently just graduated. Mm -hmm. So she was showing me little pointers, and me and her would just, like, talk at work. So I told her, like, one day, I, I think I was online or something I was looking at, and it was saying something about, like, Patron cupcakes. So I was mm -hmm. like, Patron cupcakes? Oh, how, did, how does that taste? Mm -hmm. So I tried I tried it. And then it was just like, okay. It came out to be, my first batch was like, really disgusting. <laughs> and then it was like, and I told my, my, my friend, who the one who taught me how to bake. I told her, I was like, well, listen, you know, I'm trying to make these Patron cupcakes. And she was just like, well, I never really heard anybody make Patron cupcakes before. Maybe that could be your signature. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I tried it again. And this time I had Tabitha taste it. I'm like, well, Tabitha, what do you think? Because I think like this will be like a real big thing or whatever. And she was just like, okay, well, I see what you try to do, but let me help you enhance, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So me and her just, you know, hit it off and we would just start doing it. Mm -hmm. At this time, at this point in time, I didn't really want to open my own business as being a cupcake person or anything mm -hmm. like that. It was just like... Cupcake person. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> something that just happened. So, I actually wanted to give the products and stuff to the ladies who I used to work for. Because mm -hmm. they had their own cafe and I was the manager of the cafe. And I remember the one lady told me, I was like, and I had all these recipes of all these little different stuff. And I told her, I was like, listen, I think this will make you guys a lot of money and stuff or whatever. And she told me, you know, that... And it's never going to work here. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, oh, okay. So I felt kind of a little discouraged. And then I, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me just try this again. So then I went to the other partner and I told her, you know, try this or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then she had like this jealousy issue type of thing. Uh-oh. So she had ended up like yeah, tasting man. it. Yeah, she ended up tasting it. And then she was like, well, I'm a better baker than you. And she ended up shoving one of her cupcakes in my mouth. So I'm like... Mm. Okay, whatever. So she had ended up telling a customer, because like, I had a customer, one of my favorite customers here, I had him trying one. He was like, oh my God, it's so good or whatever. And she had, he had came back and told her. She was just like, well, you know, that's just her, that's my manager, her and her pipe dreams. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, this whole big thing happened with, you know, I was just like, well, you know, maybe I should just start my own business, just keep it for myself. 
you know, whatever. So I asked Tabitha, I'm like, well, you know, and Tabitha always wanted to open up her own cafe or her own bakery and stuff too. So I was like, well, you know, let's, you know, talk together. Let's, you know, try mm -hmm. to get this thing and let's work it out. So that's what we did. And somehow my boss has found out that what we were trying to do on the side and it ended up firing me <laughs> because of what they found out from Did you get fired on your day off? No, I didn't get fired on my day off. I got fired after my shift, so, which was fine because I still had a week's pay coming to me. So this all this stuff happened like last summer. So, um, so you know, I was just like, well, they, they were like, you know, trying to tell me like, you know, I can't you know, be a manager there and do my company stuff mm -hmm. on the side, which I totally understand. So they were just like, you know, we just have to let you go. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. But at this point in time, it wasn't like, you know, I've, I've been fired from jobs before. I left jobs before, but I just knew, like, I know what I had. And it was just, like, a totally different feeling for what it was. And mm -hmm. after that, we just, you know, me and Tabitha just got together and we just started to just do it. And here we are. So, what was the first cupcake that you made? Like, the first one that you guys tried and actually mastered? The Patron Cupcakes. And what what's in the Patron Cupcakes? Like, what is the Patron Cupcake? Patron Cupcakes consist of... Um, Which one is it, actually? Let us this see. This right here is the Patron Cupcake. Okay, so this is a Patron Cupcake. Yes. It's looking kind of scrumptious. Don't mind my nails. I need a, <laughs> I need a little color. But look at that. Yeah, so the Patron Cupcake is... Um, Made with actual real Patron tequila. Mm, 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 um, mm, mm. I tried this. Very <laughs> potent. Actually, for real Patron tequila. I think uh, I'm a little tipsy already. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> <You can't. laughs> well, I try to have that effect. I can you get tipsy? If I had like 10 cupcakes. If you have, okay, it really all depends on your tolerance. And if, especially if you didn't eat anything before. If you um, might get like a sugar and a tipsy type of rush. But it's not enough to like make you fall down and Are like you sure? crazy. Yes, I'm sure. Mm. Are you okay? I feel a little tipsy. <laughs> I had this one. Which one that's, is this? That one is a red velvet Moscato. I love Moscato. So this is like my favorite, and, and red velvet too. And this is like the mama version. Yeah. This and this is, is the baby, baby version. Yeah, this is our baby version. <laughs> this is our um, standard version. Then we have a size that's bigger than that. That's like probably like probably like that big which we call it our jumbo size mm -hmm. and that size i'll say like if you get the tequila ones you're definitely if you're looking for a little buzz get the jumbo sizes because that's the size you're definitely going to oh, get God. something with and which one is this one that is our bailey's irish cream i like this one yeah i like that one too. it was good and which one is this this is our uh hennessy cupcake we did like a all white hennessy we also have you can also we also make that in chocolate but you know, since we're trying to celebrate Hennessy White, then Ooh. that's what we're trying to do. So. And I don't like Hennessy, but I like that cupcake. And what about this? This is our uh, Jack Daniels cupcake. Oh, my our God. Whiskey cupcake, yes. This one, that's for the real winos. You see? Yeah, that's like what we kind of say. Like, that's kind of This like a, is for a wino. Like, if you want to get drunk and eat at the same time, that's the one. Yeah. And which one is this? The same one, right? The, same the one, baby, but this version. Is baby version. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people like the shot sizes. Um, she calls it the shot size. She calls it shot size because <laughs> actually it fits inside an actual shot glass. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is when we do special events and stuff, we will have we will put those inside shot glasses and we make you take it as a shot. We're mm. like taking like a shot of, you know, a shot of Jack Daniels or a shot of Patron mm. or a shot of Moscato. But I don't think anybody has shots of Moscato. But you understand what I'm getting. <laughs> Um, we also have a different line. We also have like a, a, a huge line. We have pina colada. We have strawberry daiquiri. Mm -hmm. um, we have blue. We have a blue velvet hypnotic. We mm. also have a nouveau cupcake. Any Ciroc? Any Ciroc cupcakes? No, not yet. But, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> but we're working on a Ciroc cupcake. We we like you know when it comes to tap the tap the would think about all these different things in her mind and she'll get up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. she'll be me like oh i need we need to make this we need to make that because mm -hmm. she's like a cupcake whisperer i like to call her and let's say i don't like liquor do you guys make any cupcakes for people that don't like to drink yes we also have like non-alcoholic we have the uh red velvet standard we also have chocolate vanilla and then we're also working on new products and stuff too so yeah yeah so um <laughs> 
Tell us about this promotion you got going on. Okay, the promotion right now I have going on for the Frenzy TV. Um, once you go on the website and you pick out what, you know, dozen that you will want. Uh, if you type in Frenzy TV, then you'll get 15% off. Ew. Yeah, so for all the little Frenny boogers. <laughs> this is what I call it. But then that sounds sound kind of nasty when I say Frenny's boogers. So, Frenny's boogers. Yeah, but like do you Frenny's understand? Boogers. The Frenny's face boogers. So when people say it closely, it's not Frenny's, but like, like Frenny. Yeah, like, like I Frenny have boogers. Frenny has like a nose full of boogers. I don't. Well, you she doesn't. my boogers. Yes. Okay, so do you have anything you want to say to the people? Anything you want to... You know, add maybe I didn't ask or you know any I, info. Um, just go on w Follow us on Twitter, which is at Desilu Sweets. Also, we have a Facebook page, which is you know facebookcom slash Sweets. We are an online store. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully. If everybody would come and buy stuff, we could hopefully open our store soon. Damn. And, you know, it's just be more more products that we do. And actually, our Facebook and our Twitter pages are updated almost every single day. So, we have, like, different promotions and different things like that. So Yeah, so stay, support, you know? Yeah, stay tuned. And we also did, you know, cupcakes and stuff for, like, you know, a lot of special events. If you go check out our Facebook page, you will see our little stuff that we do. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so support Desi Lou Sweets. Mm -hmm. My little boogers, you know, get 15% off and get drunk. I don't know about drunk, but get a little tipsy. I feel a little tipsy. <laughs> Especially from which one was that whiskey one? <laughs> I'm confused. This is the whiskey one right That here. whiskey one, I think it put me over the edge. Like, seriously. But yeah, so say bye to my boogers. Bye, boogers. <laughs> Even that sounds nasty. Okay, bye, Franny's, bo Franny's face boogers. <laughs> bye.